sixth part of equal triangles. In this video, I am going to clear only the doubts of students asked in the comment box. First question, is A, B, C, D a parallelogram? Question is a very good question. Please listen carefully. You have to find out whether the given figure is a parallelogram. You know, in a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal and parallel. So, it is enough if you prove AC and BD are equal and parallel. Also, you have to prove BC and AD to be equal and parallel. Is it clear children? Come to the question. In triangle ABC and also in triangle ABD, we can say AB is the common side. I have drawn a small line. Also, AC is given to be equal to BD. Let me draw two lines. So, you got two sides and the angle between those two sides of the first triangle to be equal to two sides and the angle between those two sides. So what can you say about triangle ABC and ABD? They are equal triangles. Is the idea clear? First of all, we have proved these two triangles to be equal. Now, come to the next idea. Since these two triangles are equal, we can say sides opposite to equal angles are equal. So, opposite to 35 degree, I have this side. Let me draw three lines. Similarly, opposite to this 35 degree, I have AD. Let me draw three lines. Now, from the figure, what are the things clear to you? From the figure you can understand AC and BD are equal and now we have proved BC and AD to be also equal. Okay, so both pair of opposite sides are equal now. We have to prove them to be parallel also. For lines to be parallel, what is the condition? If lines are to be parallel, alternate angles should be equal. See here, I am drawing a line. From the figure, you can understand these two angles to be alternate angles. The angles are given to be here 35 by 35. So, you can say, since alternate angles are equal, AC and BD are parallel. Similarly, Look at this angle. See here children. This angle is opposite to the second side. Also, this angle is opposite to the second side. So, you can say these two angles to be also equal. We don't know the measure. Let me mark it as some x degree. I have marked this angle and this angle to be equal to x degree. Now look at the board. You can see a Z form here. Since alternate angles are equal, you can say AD and BC to be also parallel. Since both pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel, we can call this figure to be a parallelogram. Is it clear? Come to the second question children. This is another doubt shared by a student in the comment box. Page number 22, question number 4. You read the question from the textbook. Okay. Here, AB is equal to QR. I have drawn a single line. Also, BC and RP are equal. I have drawn two small lines. AC and PQ are equal. So, by looking at the given condition, you can understand these two triangles are equal triangles. Okay? Now, what is our question? R, CD and 
P is equal. Of course, they are always equal because they are the perpendiculars drawn to the same side. Here, AB and RQ are given to be equal. Uh, also, we know these two triangles are equal triangles. Therefore, the altitude CD and TS will be always equal because they are the altitudes drawn to the same side. Is it clear? Answer is like this. You have to say CD and TS are equal because, because they are the altitudes drawn to the same side. Drawn to the same side. These two triangles are equal triangles. Isn't it? Now, come to the second question. What is the relation between the areas of these two triangles? Now, when they ask you to find area, what is the formula to find area? Answer for the second question I am writing here. What is the area of this triangle? We will write half into base into base is AB, half into AP into CD. What about the area of this triangle? We can write the area of the second triangle as half into QR. We can consider QR as the base and PS is the altitude. Now what do you know about AB and QR? They are equal. What about CD and PS? They are also equal. So what can you say about the area of these two triangles? Areas are also equal. Hope it is clear to you. Come to the third question children. It is the fifth question in the same page. A very important question for your exam also. You read the question from the textbook. Okay. I will explain only the answer. You are given AB and CD to be parallel lines. Also you are given M is the midpoint. Okay. Now these two lines are extended. DM and AB are extended to meet at M. Come to the first question. Are the areas of triangle DCM and BMN equal? We have to check whether the areas of these two triangles are equal. Just now we have studied if two triangles are equal triangles, their areas are equal. So first of all, let us prove these two triangles to be equal triangles. Okay. Come to the first point. Since M is the midpoint, you can say CM is equal to BM. Okay. Next condition. Since these two lines are intersecting at a point, these two angles can be called as opposite angles. They are also equal. One more angle, these two. See, I have drawn two parallel lines. You can call these two angles to be alternate angle. Angle formed at C and angle formed at B are alternate angles because these two lines are parallel lines. So let me mark that also. I am marking this using two lines. This angle and this angle are equal because they are alternate angles. So what did you understand now? Angle side angle of the first triangle equal to angle side angle of the second triangle. Therefore, these two triangles are equal triangles. If triangles are equal, what can you say? Their areas are also equal. Okay. Now, let me shade this portion. Area of this is equal to area of this. Clear children? Come to the second question. What is the relation between the areas of quadrilateral ABCD and Triangle A, D, N. 
Now from the figure, it is very much clear that area of ABCD is equal to the area of the triangle ABN. Isn't it? More about this you will learn in 9th standard. Here what did we prove? We have proved area of ABCD is equal to the area of triangle a N D. By looking at the shaded part, you can understand it very clearly. I have just taken this triangle and kept it here. So what happens? If you take away this triangle, what happens? It becomes a triangle. 